Hey guys, what's happening? And 9 ami John with Wavelength Radio. Today I just did a short video, uh, a little quick review and uh, tip uh, about a dummy load or dummy loads. Uh, I've got this one here. It's old school, but it's I highly recommend it. Uh, you got a lot of these dummy loads that are resistors and they got a fan on them. Some maybe don't. You have limited time to use them. This one is full 1500 watts for five minute key down. That's a lot. 1500 watt key down, which means your needle is showing 1500 watts and it's staying there for five minutes. How's it work? Works great. The cost is 130 bucks. I got mine from DX Engineering. No affiliation with them. Paid, paid full price for it. Uh, I needed this for, or I need this for, my broadcast transmitter that I'm working on uh, because it's, um, you know, 250, 500, 1,000 watt, uh, but it's set up for 500 and 1,000 watts. So um, for testing purposes, it's going to run 500 watts into this guy, and I don't have any worries. So in a, even at 500 watts, I can run it. If I had to, which I don't have a reason, I can run it for 10 minute key down at 500 watts into this guy. Let me show you a little bit about it. Okay. So when you get it, you get this and you get a bottle of uh, non PCB oil. Okay. Uh, and what they tell you to do is fill it up three quarters, slap the lid back on, and good to go. You have a nice little graph right here of what you uh, what you get and what you can put into it um, this thing it does state it's 50 ohms one two to one frequency range of zero to 30 megahertz it goes one and a half to one when you go 30 to 300 megahertz and it's two to one when you get up pretty high in UHF 300 to 400 megahertz so I, I have no use for it except for HF so that's that's the deal with that uh, 1500 watts continuous for five minutes and there's your like i showed you a derating curve you can find that on i think mfj sells these like i said i got this one from dx engineering but let me show you something about this that people screw up they're always complaining that oh mine's leaking mine's leaking well the reason is they told you to fill it up three quarters. Mine's a little bit above three quarters. And they pour the whole damn thing in here so they fill it all the way up thinking that it's going to be better. No. Follow the directions. It has a little vent hole. And what happens is when it's filled all the way up, of course, this oil is going to get warm. And they're moving it around and stuff. And oil is going to, you know, go through this vent hole. Let me show you what's inside here. If I can try not to make a mess because my oil's in this one. And like I said, it's just a paint can. It's a paint can with a big resistor in it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to bring it up a little closer for you <coughs> so you guys can see with the can so I'm not dripping oil all over the, the shack here. You can have a little closer look at this. You got an SO239 up on top, your vent hole, which this should be open if you're using it. I just put the cap back on. And I got the oils probably running just at the first level right here. And that's actually a little bit high. So that's the deal, man. Anybody that has a station should have a good dummy load whether it's this one or something else but I like this one um, as long as you don't overfill it you're not gonna have a mess on the floor um, it would take a hell of a lot to boil this over so uh, Ameritron uh, high power dummy load the number is ADL 1500 and um, only use the oil they give you. Don't put motor oil or anything like that in there. <laughs> He'll boil it over pretty quick. Use you got to use the uh, specialty oil, um, and that's pretty much it. 
Get yourself one, the price is right compared to other dummy loads that are out there. And um, you know how you can hook it up in your system is up to you, but say you got a, a, a tuner with an extra um, antenna port, put it right to that. So you can switch your tuner, whether it's manual or fully auto, over to that port, boom, everything goes right in the dummy load. There you go. Talk to you guys next time. Hope this helps you out. Like, share, subscribe, Wavelength Radio. See you on the air. Hey, here's one helpful hint on that dummy load that I wanted to throw in at the end. <clears throat> Where the um, SO239, the four screws are in there. If you're really kind of anal about it, take those screws out. Put a little silicone around the back side of that thing, put them back in, and you'll be 100% sealed up. Because uh, there's been people that say that they get a couple, they get a little leaky leak out of those screws where they're put in for the SO239. Uh, Again, most people overfill them, and that's what happens. So if you don't overfill it, you shouldn't even have to go that far. But that's just an extra tip for you. Catch you next time.